and gentlemen, Kane Tories Academy presents three free minute rounds in the amateur welterweight division. And in the blue corner, weighing in at 170 pounds, representing Chief B Top Team, Rob Ayers. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 170 pounds, representing MME Clinic. Noah Lantes! Great competition. Rob Earls fighting in the black Sweeney Dodge shorts. Three and two representing GB Top Team. Taking on Noah Landis representing the MMA clinic in the white shorts. And good lord, as you pointed out, Rob Earls is a very heavily set welterweight. Yes, he is extremely muscular, which is good and bad when it comes to cardio. Starts with that chip and wing low kick with that right hand straight down the pipe. That Always right, the answer. That right hand caught him, and the thing behind it was his first instinct was to take a shot, and then he didn't want to take a shot anymore. And again. Still pushing forward though, Rob Earls. He's gonna have Now they exchange right, knees right, up right, the middle. Right. But if I'm Landis, right. I'm breaking free. Right. I'm getting yes. my arm free, I'm getting back out the distance head. to fight left this fight inside the right open, the not against the cage. And again, it, it's almost like he got an earpiece to them. I, I swear I'm not coaching anyone. Earls though. Pushing forward, trying to initiate that clinch work again. Well, which is nice because it helps to clear any cobwebs. Landis working to disengage, and he does. Oh, that was a strong kick to the midsection by Rob Earls. Landis, little. Shake it ahead and the stick out of the tongue tells you that it probably landed. And on that, and on the clinch again, but Landis, Landis ain't gonna play this game with him, is he? No, and oh. Landis is, every time Earls throws a kick, Landis is throwing that right. Nice takedown from Noah Landis there as he ends up in side control right in his own corner. The ability to, his coaches are telling him to slow down, relax, let's settle, get to that position. Let's say work for some sort of crucifix. Off of. Hey, a little knee to the body there. Thank you, Noah. Look, yeah, you say he's looking to try and isolate that arm. Which he's done. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that was technique, that was just pure strength. And then a knee to the body, I like this Noah Landis. Oh, that was low. Long, and, that was low. and immediately acknowledges it because Rob Earl. I mean, the sportsmanship shown in the cage sometimes is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I, it, there's a few things. This is a good thing for Landis to be able to clear his head, reset. Regroup. Earl's a chance to clear his head. Yep. Reset. Regroup. Not that he did it. This was completely an accident. You can tell by how he's been throwing those low body yeah. kicks to begin with. Landis was just a little bit to the side when he threw that kick. It happens. Our referee starts him up. The, the apology from the, that heavy low kick as well. Landis. Ooh, uppercut there to end the round. So I'll say that one more time. Welterweight contest. Rob Earls, the GB top team prospect, fighting out of the blue corner in the black shorts, taking on Noah Landis, the MMA clinic prospect, in the white shorts, fighting out of the red corner. 
Lots of movement from Landis. Oh. Relax, relax, relax. Relax. Luckily, a little bit too close when that head kick was thrown. But I'm surprised. I'm, 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 I'm genuinely surprised. Ah, no, no, he's he's looked, to, looked to break away. Landis seems so much more com so com out in the open. And a lovely takedown. Caused Rob Earls to start swinging a bit wild. Landis is now moved to side control and see if he goes knee on belly. Or if he looks to. Knee on belly was the choice. Nice good strip of it took place by Earls. He was able to get out of that position. Now he's got the block up. Ah, oh, knee to the body. Lovely. And now Lamb's happy, kind of locked down here. Making Rob Earl take all that, hold all that weight. Trying to kneel on that. Lannis is looking to isolate that arm. Yeah. Again, stays very sticky chest to chest in that side control. Earl's trying to get up, trying to get to a hip. Yeah, for Earl's, that's good, though, because he's not taking any damage in this position because he's able to kind of quash all of the posturing up that Landis is attempting to do. Can't, he, can't, he can't want to stay here, though, and Landis will have had sort of a minute and 20 seconds in a three-minute round in top control. And it's, it's when they get in tight and close that I feel that Earl's got that best shot. Through that straight right yes, left. Yes, yes. Earl's punches are barely missing Landis as far as when he's throwing those punches. Now, as discussed at the beginning of the fight, when somebody is holding that much muscle mass and they've been doing this much grappling for six minutes, that takes its toll on your cardio level. Well, Landis again finishing the round on top. Big hammer fist. And so I could see him coming out charging forward, looking for that finish. Touch it, touch it. Again, that beautiful left, straight left from Noah Landis. Is is going to be keeping Rob Earls honest all night. Yeah, Rob Earls is throwing that left hand with bad intention. Just seems that Landis gets there first. This is a little bit cleaner. Little oh, cleaner. that was low. That was that was a bit low. You know, as horrible as it sounds, probably couldn't have come at a better time for Earls. For Rob Earls. Yeah. Yeah, nobody wants to get mean in the cajones, but a chance to get a bit of wind back in here, a little bit of a break. Certainly, certainly wearing the two rounds so far. Yeah, his nose is busted. And again, it seems that Noah Landis has brought a few people with him tonight. Oh, game, though. Yeah, he came here to play. And Landis got got to be careful because a wounded animal is a dangerous animal. But he's done the right thing. He's straight down in top, right on top control. Got that mount. Earl's holding on, trying to try not to let Landis posture up. Landis is doing a good job of climbing the tree. Yeah. 
He knows as well he's trying to drag him towards his corner. Now Earls for, for, forced to scramble, gives up his back. Landis got both hooks in. On to the back now. Can't see if he's under the corner now. Yeah, he's under the corner. And there's the tap. Noah Landis with the R. Let's make this one official. Referee Sam Amini calls the contest at one minute and 36 seconds of round number three. For your winner by a re 